Hello, I'm John Shepherd, and in this video I'm going to answer some questions which have been sent into the channel and update you on a couple of developments and projects that I've been working on. Okay, I'm going to start with some questions on the triple jump and some which have come through my Instagram account. Now the first is from Fiona and she asks about an athlete she's coaching who's overreaching on her step phase. The step phase is obviously fundamental to the triple jump and it needs to be around 30% of the total distance jumped. Now overreaching could result from a poor thigh position in the mid flight phase of a step. You need to swing the free leg in bent, hold it, wait, try and lift it again. It won't notionally lift up but you've got to think about supporting that thigh, holding it, waiting for the contact and then you extend your lower leg into the contact without snatching at the contact. It's got to be timed. It's got to go across the ground, come back towards you so that it transfers you into the jump phase. So in terms of drills to correct this, there are numerous skipping type of exercises that you could employ to work on the thigh lift and the strike into the contact. Another thing you could do is do a sequence of steps over 15 meters with a run in or even two to three into the pit with a jump at the end with the focus being on that elevated thigh position and the timing into the contact and the transition between step and step. Perpetually working on it in training will hopefully transfer to the event itself. Now I've found that sometimes a jumper can get stuck doing triple jumps and their step phase doesn't necessarily function properly. So we're talking here about jumping off of short approaches. Then, however, if I transition to them to do two steps and a jump, as opposed to the hop, step and jump of the triple jump, it's often that their technique improves in terms of the contact and held positions for the step phase. So replacing the triple jump sequence with two steps and a jump could be a training means to help improve the step phase. One other thing you could do is place markers down on the track in conjunction with the designated step length that you're trying to achieve and that the jumper tries to strike the ground roughly where those marks are so that they don't overreach on the step phase. Okay, the next Instagram question comes from Emmanuel and he's a coach in the States and he asks about the types of mats we use for working on the last three steps of the long jump takeoff. Now, specifically, he inquires about the heights of the mats and the type of mats that we use. Well, over the years, I've experimented with a number of different types and they all have a value. So we've actually used step platform boxes as fitness classes would use for step aerobics. These are solid and obviously you can't use spikes. Now they're about nine inches, 20 centimeters high. So the drop off of each one is greater than the mats we're currently using. The mats, as I've just indicated, are about three to four centimeters high and solid rubber and they can take a spike. Ideally, I think the mats that take the spike are the better option. However, you basically just need two platforms for the third step out and the takeoff step out that will enable the athlete, the jumper, to create the correct rhythm running through them or even jogging or walking through them. And just to add a little bit more on that, there are plenty of videos on the channel on using mats to improve your long jump takeoff working, for example, on the penultimate step, the takeoff step, and even the third step out from the board. So do check those ones out. Okay, another Instagram question, and this comes from Tarasvich, and it's about the triple jump and the foot contact. So in a way, it follows on from the initial question on the step phase. The specifics are, how should the foot contact the ground through the phases? Well, it should be heel-led so that the strike comes back towards the track surface and then the foot goes flat. So as you hold your lower leg out going into the contact, toes should be pulled up towards the shin and then you push the foot out from the knee, wait for the track to contact it and then strike pulling the foot back beneath you. Again, there are plenty of skipping drills 
and foot up drills that you can do to create the strong position needed to get that contact right. And the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about is the latest edition of the Jumper magazine which I've just finished and should be live now. To view it you can download it from the web and you should be able to get the link from below this video. Okay and the final question for this video is from Chris and he talks about over rotation from the board and how he can improve his hip transition through the takeoff. Well again this one relates to the use of mats to improve the long jump takeoff. I firmly believe that regular use of mat drills in training can really improve your long jump takeoff. If you can get the hips to move through automatically at takeoff then the free leg will also position itself better. If you can hold that position from the board then you're much less likely to over rotate. Now on that subject what you do after the board is very important too but you won't be able to do that unless you set the jump up properly. So after takeoff the swing leg comes through bent slightly not too tucked up towards the bottom because that can create over rotation but it needs to come through quickly so the heel of the swing leg must be tucked under the hips. Then you need to hold that free thigh position for a split second and ideally push the foreleg out into your hitch or into your hang. Doing that will delay the onset of rotation from the takeoff and push your landing further into the jump. As usual thanks for watching and do subscribe to the channel and leave any comments you may have in the section below or through my other social media. And of course good luck with any competitions you may have on the horizon. And above all stay safe in these very challenging times.